What are you close, close, close? What are you doing? Okay, come on. Chloe, it's come miles back. You're gonna hit the pillar. You're so far back. Easy now, Chloe. Focus and take it calmly. Easy now, love. Easy does it now. Okay, easy does it now. Easy does it. Now. Easy does it. Now. Easy. Chloe. I'm holding. This whole thing is tilting backwards. Just. Watch the angle of it, okay? okay? Watch the angle now. Watch the angle. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay, come on. Easy does it now. Okay, easy does it now. Shit, I've too many bricks on it. Don't let it go, Chloe, too far towards you. Okay, no, no, oh, Jesus, small movements, Chloe. Just a little bit. A little bit. Small movements now, honey. Small movements. That whole thing is going to come slamming down. Okay, gently now. Gently now. Gently now. Gently now. Easy does it now. Easy does it. Too much to you, Chloe. Too much to you. It's the tiniest of movements, okay, hon? Now, here she comes. Here she comes. There she comes now. Here's the wake on. Oh fuck. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. There we go. Okay. Now, come up here and take the winch, please, love. Summer, we'll have to worry about that next month. <laughs> yeah. But it's up anyway, we yeah, did it. We did it. You happy? I'm still nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's now the next morning since we've put it up and the wind sprung up overnight which was great news. The Easter breeze is flying out there compared to the DIY turbine or even the decorative little windmill on the kids play set. And it's also been charging the system overnight which is brilliant as well. We started off this morning at 21 and a bit volts and because we've been using it overnight and we're now right up to about 26 volts and none of that has come in from the solar because it's a dark grey day out there today but the wind speeds are about 15 to 20 kilometers an hour. We have however discovered one huge problem. Um, there's a massive weight imbalance it seems in either the propellers or the propeller hub. Um, it's sending a vibration through the generator and right down through the mast which could damage the parts of either the mast or the generator or even the wall itself that the whole thing is attached to. So it looks like I have to take the propeller section back off again and see what's going on. I don't know at this stage, can it be balanced out or do I need to order a new hull? But we'll take it down and we'll find out. Just figured out what's been causing the massive vibration in the turbine. Um, on the right is the four original remaining blades and on the left is one of the new replacement blades that we ordered. So we'll take one of the original blades, stick it on there, it's not touching the table anywhere, and it's 746 grams, so 746 grams. And now let's take the new blade. Make sure it's not touching anything. There it is on the scale. Weighs 648. It's 100 grams lighter than the original blades. Just for reference, if that was a car wheel that was out of balance, 100 grams would be considered a, a bad buckle or almost a borderline bin job. So we're gonna go ahead, stick all five of the new blades on and get it back up there. Reflecting on this project as a whole, there are a few important lessons that were learned along the way. While building our own mast has saved money, 
I would build it with a gin pole set up instead of a counterweight to make raising and lowering a bit less nerve wracking. If you're considering doing something like this yourself, you'll need to allow at least an additional 600 euro on top of the cost of the generator for the mast and foundation for it all to sit on. As for the Ista Breeze, it's already performing well and charging the system in average conditions. As for how it handles the Irish weather before requiring maintenance, only time will tell. Well, that's much better now. The vibration's completely gone out of it. Everything's balanced up again and it's running nice and smooth. The mast is nice and strong and sturdy as well, which is great news. So next up we have to get an anemometer for measuring wind speed, some gauges so that we can get an accurate reading on the wattage output at that wind speed. So for the moment, do take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.